hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing very well it is um thursday thursday today no it's wednesday <laughs> it's wednesday today i'm just going to um talk about something meh. i won't be long but it's something that i want to share with you guys and it's it's, it's based on the verse ne? the verse is found in first kings first kings um chapter 17 i'm i'm looking this way because it's in my laptop chapter 17 and verses 8 to 9 it says eventually the brook dried up because of the drought then god told or spoke to him saying get up and go to zarephath in sidon and live there i've instructed a woman who lives there a widow to feed you now guys the reason i am sharing this feed, this this verse with you is because i feel that sometimes in our lives our brooks do dry up but how do we know that now it is time for us to move how do we know that the brook that we are in has dried up because now it's not it won't be the same as as Ibrukka Elijah, Eku First Kings chapter seventeen, it will be a different brook. How do you know that Gogule Brook is no longer a brook that a a a a in sustain you, a in net you, okanye in feed you, okanye in nikamanda because Elijah used to drink from that brook. He used to um have a man's wife daily, day in and day out, Gula Brook. Now our brooks can be it can be our relationships and friendships. How do we know that they have dried up? How do we know that God is telling us, Ndobana, get up, I have prepared someone for you? How do we get to that state of knowing Ndobana now I must get up? It 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 is a a tough a tough exercise I, I cannot even call it an exercise because it's a life life changing moment ne? when you are in a broke that has dried up for you to feel that it broke has dried up ne? Uh, around you that you need to pay attention to um when when we apply for jobs ne? When we apply for jobs, we 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 get a list of responsibilities. We get emailed or by Malin how much we're going to get paid and how for 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 how long is it permanent or a contract? Now that thing looks beautiful. Ne? It's a brook that is flowing with water. It is filled and it is green around it. Everything is beautiful, and you apply for it and you get the job. You are in a brook and you are there now. It has not dried up. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Goku, you're like, ah, I don't feel the flow anymore. This water that I'm drinking from is poison. It's no longer um, giving life to me. Um, that's how you recognize that your brook has dried up. And, and every time you wake up to that job, that you used to love, we used to be green. Now it is no longer a, 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 a job that is helping you to wake up early to go to. Then that brook has dried up. Then some like a long relationship, ne? A relationship, ne? We are in a honeymoon. We are like seeing a band of consistent. Like we call each other, we text, we do, we do, we do everything, ne? And then, kuveli characters as the enga kanga zivele in the beginning, ne? And then what we like? How can't I've been fed? Indo inge yiyo apa all along. Can't long to has been like this all along, ne? Then that brook starts going to be a dry brook for you. You no longer want to calling the person. No longer excited to get calls anymore because the brook is drying up. And and you know, Kansas Aquino is a spiritual is a spiritual spirituality. God do speak to us ne, about our brooks, about our situations. Um let me not call them brooks, about 
the places that we are in in our lives. He does speak to us and we ignore his voice. Most of us, we ignore Eli Zwigati go talking to us. You know how God speaks to us? He makes, he gives us signs. And then all of a sudden, kube wrong. Kube wrong, ubanga try to fix the wrong things. Kuye kuba wes. And then, you're like, what, what is happening? He is trying to speak to you. He is trying to say in your banner, get up, get up, get up now, get up and go to Zarephath. Get up now and go to Zarephath. But Tina, we stay. We're like, ah, ah, he broke, hasn't dried up, ah, ah. God, we are pale and you can see in the one and God's no vukaksas anymore. And God's no, no, like it's no longer exciting to be there. <laughs> God, God is a God of movement. Is a, is a God of movement. And by moving us to places, he's trying to recreate us into, okay, molding us into new characters, okay, um, not new characters, but um, he's adding new things into our characters. Ne? And Gyangu is not to say that you took a phone slalom is in year to for thirty years. It's not to say you took a phone slale relationship yako for thirty years. But he is trying to show you that this place that you are in now, yes I told you to be there, but now it is time for you to move. The one thing that I like about God I push her for you to move. He makes the place that used to be sweet to be sour. And we are we are chinja chinja, ne? We are in Dogbana. For example, the brook that dried up for Elijah, it was a brook that God took Elijah to. And that our jobs and our relationships are the relationships that God directed us to be in. But in what it is time, everything has to do with timing. It is time for Elijah to move. And also in your life. Perhaps it is time now to move. Ne? And God is making a movement around you and trying to tell you that, ah, now, now, move now, move, move. But in the end, people, ne? human beings, is we get too much attached. Ne? And once we we are hired by this person and or by this place or dating this person, no toxic gang because you are so attached and you are so afraid to move on. But God is like showing you all the signs around you in Dubana. It is time, my child, to move. To move and is a yiba worse, ne? Is a yiba worse, it won't get any 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 um Smoother, ah ah, is why he ba wes no ba wes because he is trying to push you. Uzo wana ga uzo suka ak push out, uzo suka ak push out and kap lung, kap lung because he's been talking to you and uti ko we tu uti ko no tando and a loving God because he will never say move from a place without preparing a place for you to be or kanya to land to. I'm not saying Nubana, when God tells you to move a relationship yako, now he's preparing you to end your relationship yako, any relationship immediately. But he's trying to tell you that it is time for you to get out of the situation that you are not feeling good about and go and find a place where I can be able to make you a servant of mine peacefully. Because in our jobs, we need to be people that are bringing value. But if our jobs are no longer helping us to be people that God can use to bring value in our by doing our jobs, because this is a daily, a daily bread. This is something that we do every day. Ne? So it needs to um, cultivate us, bring us peace, make us happy bring us closer to God but if it's something that even your relationship if it's something that is taking you away from God making you stressful doubting him then that is a place maybe you need is it a right place for me to be and listen to God Elijah Zanga move Elijah didn't move without being told by God to move now we are not in the brooks that are literal but we are in the brooks and our brooks, some of us, has dried up and God has been telling us to get up and go to Zarephath. And I think for most of us, we are so, 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 so attached that we do not want to get up. And God is saying, my child, get up. And, and our loving God, 
he says to Elijah, I have instructed a woman, even in our lives, even in our lives, God has instructed someone. There are boardrooms that are talking about your name right now. As you are sitting in that brook that has dried up, there are boardrooms that are discussing your name. There are people that are fighting for you, that they want you on their side because you are a child of God and you're going to bring value. Because one thing that we must aim for, I don't know what kind of job you do, but your job must be a job that brings values. Either it's bringing value to the company you're working for, or it is bringing value to the people that you are working with. There must be something that a utiko that directs you to 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 do. We come by no sevens to the people that you work with. They they must they must feel God within you. If that is interrupted, you cannot do the work of God so well. And you try to talk about the word of God and, and people are not listening and the place is becoming toxic and toxic more. I think God is trying is going to try and move you away from that because that now is no longer a, an, an environment that is conducive for you to bring the word of God or can you to be an impact that God wants you to be. Um, that is it, guys. I'm saying today, there is someone waiting for you that God has prepared for. There are boardrooms that are waiting for you that God has prepared for. It is time. It is time for you to get up. Get up and find your Zerafeth that God is directing you to. I hope you guys are going to receive this word and stay blessed. Um, and God loves you. Bye. <laughs>